Hello Aries and welcome to your bonus reading. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this virtual space. Thank you for your patience. So it's been a while. I'm really happy to bring you these messages. In the bonus reading, we look at everything, okay? We're not just going to focus on one specific thing. We're going to be looking at what's coming out. So we have communication is key that fell out of the deck, okay? Gemini energy, so lovers energy in the tarot. There might be someone on your mind, okay? I'm hearing the word loyalty in my mind. I feel like you've been maybe waiting on communication, waiting for something to happen. It doesn't have to be about love. It could be about you waiting on something. You want this call, you want this email, you want this answer on this particular thing that you want and you've been really loyal, okay? Waiting for this thing and staying focused on it, I'm feeling. Okay, so make sure to like this video, guys. This is the best way to show your support and I really appreciate it. Okay, let's see what major arcana we have here as general energy for you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So this thing that you've been waiting on, this thing that you've been wishing for, Aries, it's happening. The wheel is turning. The Wheel of Fortune is an energy of, I've been waiting for things to happen. Things have been the same over and over for a while. And now I feel like it's happening for me. Wheel of Fortune, of course, uh, the most esoteric card in the tarot. There's something magical about this situation. There's something that feels meant to be and it feels good. Uh, but I, I feel like it's after a period of being stuck in the same routine. Maybe you've been stuck mentally uh, with the Gemini energy here. We'll see what the tarot has to say, but this is powerful, fast movement, uh, communicating, getting the things that you want. So... I'll, we'll see. We'll see what it's all about. Okay, let's start with the Moon Baby Tarot today. What does Aries need to know? What do we need to know for Aries? Okay. Three cards came out of the deck. The Sun. Okay, so we have the Sun and the Six of Pentacles. There's four cards. I'll show you the two more after. So the Sun and the Six of Pentacles. Finally, your hard work is paying off, okay? With the Six of Pentacles, there's this feeling of someone will finally give you the energy that you've been giving. I, I, I feel like you've been giving so much. Your energy, your time, your money, I don't know what it is. And maybe you felt like it was never coming back to you. You definitely been patient and it's something that you carry in your heart space with the Sun card, okay? Because Leo is about the heart, Listen, guys, the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun as two first energy, this is powerful. This is incredibly positive. Um, there's a lot of hope about a situation. Things are happening. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse and the Four of Wands in the upright, guys. So... Listen, 1111 here with the Four of Wands. I don't know if this is something important for you noticing the signs. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's like things are happening. And again, I have this feeling that it feels magical. It feels meant to be. Reuniting with someone, creating something solid. If you don't connect with the love message... Although seeing all these cards with the Four of Cups in the reverse and everything, I do feel like it could be about reuniting with someone that you really care about maybe if you're already in a relationship thinking of buying a home with someone going to the next level of a relationship with the four of cups in the reverse it's about being available for someone wanting to be there for them and with the four of wands and with the six of pentacles this is both side someone is available for you now, finally, the way you've been available for them. Again, the word loyalty speaks really loudly to me right now. I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm hearing it. It's, it's really special. I don't know why, but it feels like you've been patient. It feels like you always knew that this person or this situation was meant for you. And even if things weren't perfect, First time around, maybe second time around. Maybe there was a lot of in and out. You 
stuck with it. You've been patient. It hasn't been easy though. Definitely. When the sun is here in first position, it's not just like, okay, everything has been perfect. And no, you've been through a lot. And that's why the sun is here. And that's why the wheel is here. Things are changing. Your luck is changing. The energy in your life is changing in a really positive way. Someone is ready to give you the love that you've been waiting for. And I know it sounds kind of, kind of weird, and I don't know why this person had to kind of wake up about you. Maybe it's something personal that happened on their side. I do feel like it hasn't been fair for you for a while. Intuitively, I feel like I have to say that to you. Uh, like, I am aware. See, the cards are going crazy. I am aware that it wasn't fair in the past. King of Wands, beautiful, one of your power cards. This is you standing in your power, actually being aware that your loyalty was the key to this situation unfolding the way it's going to be unfolding. It's, it's really powerful. Four of Pentacles. Guys, we have four, four, four already. And the 1111 card, are you noticing the signs around you? Are you noticing that there's some kind of magic... Um, and you know, we're still all rational here, okay? It's not about being in this cuckoo vibe and thinking that, you know, the universe is doing the work and we're not doing, we don't have to do anything. You're aware with the King of Wands that there's been a lot of work that needed to be done. You showed up, you did the work, um, worked definitely on your mind body soul maybe worked on your self-confidence the best way you can working on opening up definitely been working on your money your stability creating something solid and real for yourself but the universe is giving you kind of this kick for some reason in a good way in a beautiful way um, repetitive number are really important in the tarot. Numerology is one of the most important things in the tarot. And sometimes I feel like people overlook it. So 444, four, four, really important for you. It could be the fourth month is your birthday on the fourth. Um, there is something about the number four that needs to be looked at that is important. It could be related to the person you're thinking about some kind of job offer, something that you've been waiting for. We have a couple cards that are in the reverse here. Let me pick three more cards. I want to know more details about this situation. This energy feels all over the place. I think you've been dealing with a lot. I don't know if you're looking to buy a home, putting money aside. There's something about you working on your stability, putting a lot of energy in many different areas of your life, and it's paying off. But I'm going to be honest, I feel like you could be exhausted a little bit. You're still thriving. You're still doing what you have to do. But I feel like there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of things on your shoulder. There's a lot of things you have to deal with. So you could be exhausted. But you're still pushing through. Definitely still pushing through. Okay, let's look at these three cards. We have the Judgment card. The Fool and the Knight of Pentacle. This is actually confirming everything I just said, okay? A lot of things is happening. A lot of important things. Dealing with a lot of shit, okay? Things that you need to look at. And also, when I say a lot of stuff is coming up, it could be about... And I have goosebumps saying that. It's crazy. With Judgment card, all the stuff is coming up. It, it just completely fits with that card. Because when we're expanding in our life, when we're going through this huge change, uh, sometimes, you know, the brain wants to sabotage. There's this feeling of everything comes back. The, the things from the past we haven't dealt with, uh, our relationship with judging ourselves, judging other people. The judgment card is a lot about that. We're digging deep. Okay, a lot of things are resurfacing. Could be echoes from the past, but at the end of the day, you're still protected. There's something magical about this energy. The fool confirms this brand new beginning in the Knight of Pentacles. It's how particular, patient, loyal you've been. 
you weren't rushing anyone. And Aries, you guys aren't the most patient of, of signs. And humans in general, no one's patient. Let's just be honest. Like, um, I feel like you've been incredibly patient and present for someone or something. You actually did the work. And you were willing to wait for the good time, for the timing to be right. And with the fool, it feels good. The fool is, of course, taking a leap of faith, but it's also listening to the soul. The fool is the soul of the tarot. It feels like you changed something about maybe you doing things because other people wanted you to do these things. Maybe how your parents raise you. You know, when we are a little bit younger, when we're still not in that mature state of living life by our own rules, sometimes we do things to look a certain way and please people. Or because we feel like we have to do things a certain way, you're changing that. I don't know if you realize it, but there's this really powerful change within you. With the King of Wands here, definitely now it's about doing things because you want to do them, because they feel good for you, not because you want to please other people and not because you want to look good. You are looking good and feeling good. And if not, and that's totally valid and normal if you're listening and you're like, what is she talking about? I don't feel good at all. There's definitely this moment of uh, comfort anytime we're about to expand and get to that, that great space in our life. It's not supposed to be a straight line of just happy thoughts and nothing crazy ever happening. It is not easy to get to that space, but I do feel like, again, your loyalty has been paying off for some reason. You've been doing good. So Aries, let's take another deck and I wanna see for the rest of 2021. So we're going to be looking at the energies of, you know, the end of October, November, and December. I want to see, what do we need to know? What do we need to know for the rest of the year? Ten of Swords. Fabulous. Okay, the cards are going crazy. I see the Star. I see the Nine of Cups. The Seven of Wands. Okay, let's go with these three to start. So with the Nine of Cups... You are getting your wish fulfillment, and it's because you kept your head up throughout the whole process. Again, confirming your loyalty, confirming your patience, confirming that your will took over. You wanted something so bad, and you got it. With the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands, listen, fighting for what you want. And with the Ten of Swords, you're getting a lot of release. A lot of emotional stress is finally going to be released. I'm not saying everything's going to be perfect. And I'm not saying, again, it's going to be a straight line. There's going to be ups and downs, definitely. Like any human being, like any stories, we're all rational here. Life is not about freaking unicorns and rainbows all the time. Okay? And you are aware of that. But with the Ten of Swords, I'm going to be honest. I feel like you've been through a lot of emotional stress in the past year and also physical stress i don't know if you've been feeling a lot of pain in your body but the ten of swords with the seven of wands to me is like you're going to be getting a lot of release mental physical spiritual emotional everything is going to be like smoother calmer it's going to get easier it's going to get better it's definitely getting better right now um yeah, I don't know if you've been struggling with something about your body, something that was taking a lot of time to heal, something that you needed answer on. You're going to get release about that. Knights are about the body and the Ten of Swords to me is definitely about that also. So something that you've been wanting to improve about your body, about your physical health, it will be improving in a really drastic and positive way but that's really personal to you of course i'm not a doctor in any way shape or form so take it how it resonates we have the four of swords in the reverse judgment card again so double judgment card when i'm saying that you're changing your life you're at crossroad this is it this is the next chapter with the two of pentacles this is 
knowing that you can't do everything at once, you can't please everyone, you have to start by pleasing yourself. I do feel like there is a reunion with you and someone that you really care about, someone that you share a channel with, a spiritual channel. So it could be a soulmate, it could be love, but it could also be a friend, a family member that you've been waiting to reconnect with and it feels really good. And with the four of swords in the reverse, you're opening up. Maybe you've been isolating a lot for the past year and it's not only because of COVID, guys. It's isolation because your brain needed a freaking break. You were exhausted mentally and physically. I feel like for some of you, it was really hard to explain clearly why you want to heisel it and why you are not, why you weren't available for people all the time or less than usual. Um, it's like maybe you felt like you needed to give answers to people to explain yourself, but you really didn't need it done. People that matter are still here, they're still present, and they want to show you that with, with their actions, definitely. We have another four, guys. We have four fours. Four is an important number. I don't know what it is. Um, the month of April this year could be really significant for you if you're looking to buy a house, if, you know, moving with someone, getting a, a job, traveling there's something that you really want this kind of dream that you have that is really personal to you the month of april could be really significant but think about that journal about it i don't know what it is again it's personal to you but the number four is going to be a number that you remember it's going to be a number that you see coming up a lot um let's take another deck just for fun this one wasn't, I wasn't supposed to use this one, but I still want to pick a message from the universe for you to wrap up this reading, okay? Death card confirming that you're transforming, your life is transforming. Powerful stuff, okay? Death card is one of my favorite energy. Your life will never be the same. You'll be looking at this time in your life and you'll understand that it had to happen this way it confirms also that you've been through a lot i do feel like some of you are exhausted and you're about to get that break definitely give me two cards what message from the universe do we have here for aries two of cups confirming that there might be a connection with a soulmate it could be someone that you already know it could be that you are already in a relationship and things would will evolve and get stronger. But if you're single, I do think you have someone in mind. This person is great for you. There's a soulmate connection here. It's not everybody who connects with the love message. Again, soulmates can be friends, definitely. I do feel like there's a love message in that particular reading. But if you've been waiting to reconnect with a friend or a family member, I think that things are gonna be unfolding naturally. There's a, there's a good feeling about this reading and a lot of release after emotional, physical, spiritual stress. Yeah, we're ending the reading with the Ace of Swords, a new beginning, a change of perspective. I associate the Ace of Swords a lot with the body also. Uh, again, there's something about your body, Aries. Feeling a lot more confidence, feeling healthier, stronger, more energy. And I don't know how you did it. And I feel like it's definitely a work in progress, but you're doing it. You're on the right track, my love. So keep on pushing. Enjoy all the beautiful gifts from the universe. Again, it's not only about the magic of the universe. It's about you doing the work, showing up and listening. There's something about you listening to yourself and to the people around you. Showing up, being loyal, being present. Uh, you can do it all. The Two of Pentacles, to me, is always a reminder of, hey, babe, you just have two hands, so don't go crazy, okay? Calm the F down a little bit, but it's also telling me you can have it all and you will have it all. You have what it takes. 
okay? So amazing reading. Just seeing the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun at first, as first two energy, I knew that this was going to be good. And at the bottom of the deck, we have your card, the Emperor, Aries. You're doing things the way you want them to do. Doing things because it feels good to you, living life by your own rules. Emperor is number four. Another four in this reading, guys. So think about that. What does the number four represent for you? Okay? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your patience, Aries. Thank you for the messages, the donations. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll talk really soon.